Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're talking about some drama within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. There are so many talented actors and directors who have given us MCU movies for over 10 years. But did you know, there's a lot of people who didn't like working on those movies. Here's a list of actors and directors and actresses who really, really hated working on Marvel movies. Our first and pretty obvious one is Terence Howard who played Rhodey in the first Iron Man. Although this movie arguably set the tone for the entire MCU, Terence Howard was only Rhodey for a short time before he was replaced with Don Cheadle. So what exactly happened that Terence Howard didn't continue with the role? Well, here's the story. Terence Howard apparently made $4.5 million for his appearance in Iron Man 1, which was even more than Robert Danny Jr. made for that movie. Howard was even reported to have made $8 million more million for the two sequels lined up in his contract. But according to insider MCU sources, that deal didn't reach the second movie. Terence Howard was offered only $1 million for the second movie, which he turned down. As we know, they recast the role with Don Cheadle and Rhodey has been featured in seven Marvel movies since then. To this day, Terence Howard still claims that Iron Man killed his career. Next up is the Avengers director Josh Whedon. We all know and love Josh for his work on the first Avenger movie, which brought all of our favorite superheroes onto the civil screen together. But there is a lot of drama that went on behind the scenes. The second Avengers movie, Age of Ultron, was another exciting movie for fans, but not reviewed as well by critics. Fans expected Josh Whedon to direct the follow-up Avengers Infinity Wars, but were quite surprised when the Russo brothers announced they'd be taking over. Well, it turns out, Josh Whedon didn't have a very good time on Age of Ultron. He's admitted that the pressure to create a movie as successful as the first Avengers was what drove him away from making more. And he's even quoted that directing Ultron was so difficult that he will never direct another Marvel movie ever again. Another fairly obvious talent who didn't like working on Marvel movies is Natalie Portman, but as some of you may know now, there's a little bit of a twist to it. We saw Jane Foster played by Portman in the first Thor movie. Her role received criticism, but ultimately most fans loved her performance. Her absence from Avengers was barely explained only to say that Jane Foster was away from New York at the time. Fans grew suspicious that something was wrong, but Natalie Portman ultimately did agree to come onto Thor the Dark World to continue her role. But here's where the drama takes place. Apparently, Portman only agreed to join the cast of Thor 2 because the director Patty Jenkins had convinced her. When Jenkins left due to creative differences, Portman had already signed a contract and she had to finish filming. This made her very upset and she vowed to never take place in another Marvel movie again. But we all know this isn't true. With the success of Thor Ragnarok under director Taika Waititi, Portman apparently considered rejoining the MCU. Fans were very pleased to hear that Portman had announced her return, joining the cast of Thor Love and Thunder. And rumors are flying that Jane Foster will will Mjolnir becoming a female Thor. And speaking of Thor The Dark World, director Alan Taylor also had some things to say about his time working on this movie. Alan Taylor joined the filming of Thor The Dark World after Patty Jenkins stepped aside due to creative differences. Taylor reportedly had a fantastic time on set calling the time he spent shooting the movie wonderful. But the challenges started to take place in post-production. Taylor's mood quickly changed as he's quoted calling the entire experience wrenching. He's argued that he wasn't allowed to make the movie that he wanted and that the final edit wasn't entirely his. Marvel execs took over the editing process and turned it into a whole different movie according to Alan Taylor. Although fans would love to see an alternate version of Thor The Dark World, Taylor has promised never to go through this process again and has brought his days working with Marvel to a close. Although the 2005 movie Fantastic Four isn't normally considered part of the MCU, it still contributed to the early success of Marvel movies. Actress Jessica Alba, who played Sue Storm, was well liked by fans, but according to those close to her, this role almost ended her entire acting career. In the follow-up movie Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer, Jessica Alba was very unhappy with some direction she received from director Tim Story. According to Alba, during some of the more emotional scenes, director Tim Story instructed her to cry prettier, saying things like, don't do that thing with your face, just make it flat, we can CGI the tears in. This made Alba feel terrible and made her question whether or not she wanted to continue acting. According to those sources, she almost quit business altogether. 
And that's just some of the drama for Marvel movies, there is a lot more, so comment below what other MCU drama you know of, check back in for part 2 very soon, and in the meantime don't forget to subscribe, share and like this video, and I will see you very soon, bye!